Good afternoon again, beautiful people. Let me quickly share my screen. See if I can do it right. I got it. Okay, so let's just follow along here. A little introductory, what happens in an allergic reaction? I'm sure we've all had an allergic, okay, no. I'm sure we've heard of what an allergic reaction is. Maybe you're allergic to say the pollen in the air. That's just stuff that falls off trees or in the, in, in, the, in the grass, or maybe you're allergic to peanut butter, or maybe you're allergic to that. Yeah, you, people can be allergic to anything, okay? And it's not fun. You know, when, you, when, when the pollen comes in the spring or the fall or whenever it comes, we get stuffy, our eyes water, we can itch. It's horrible, okay? Today, we're gonna talk about what exactly happens, okay? Let's look at this column on the left. Let me see if I can get my little drawery thing. You know how much I love my drawery thing. The immune system response to an injury. First, we're gonna like compare and contrast between an injury. You see the bloodstream? This is like an artery in our skin. That's here on the left. You see all the, 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 the white blood cells and the red blood cells and all the other stuff that's in, in, in our bloodstream, okay? Here's our skin, right? This is our skin. And if we get a cut, say you like bump your arm on, on the, I don't know, on the counter, okay? You get an ouchie, right? You go, ouch, ouch. And it, it opens up and a pathogen, like a, a, back a bad bacteria or, or what any type of pathogen can get in, enter the wound, right? And that's not good. Now there's antigens on the surface of the pathogen that we have talked about and our B cells in our body, that's part of our immune system, senses the pathogen's antigens and our B cells begin to make antibodies. Here are our B cells, okay? Here's our B cells. They recognize, you see, there's, there's antigens on the surface of these pathogens. Our, our B cells begin to make all kinds of antibodies. Now let's go down to the... Uh, what am I trying to do here? I don't know. Let's go down to the next one. Well, let me scroll, of course not. The next one, okay, the antibodies trigger the mast cells to start responding to the invaders. Now, these mast cells release a chemical called histamine. Histamine expands the blood vessels, okay? Now, if you notice, the, the histamines are these little circles. These are little, this is called histamine. This is produced by our body in response to the pathogens and the antigens on the pathogens. Now these histamines tell the blood vessels in our body to expand, to get bigger. It's almost like increasing the size of a highway so that more cars can go down it. Now we're just increasing the size of the blood vessel, that way there, the more space there is, the more space there is for more white blood cells. Now remember, the white blood cells are what kill pathogens, right? Phagocytes, macrophages. These are little things that are on our side that our body produces to defend itself against pathogens. Now, so that's a two step, that's two steps. The, the histamine is, is allowing for the, 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 in, the increase in size of our blood vessel. Notice how the blood vessel will go down to the third spot. Notice how the blood vessel is getting wider here, right? It's getting wider. That's so that more blood, more white blood cells can like, it's like high speed. The wider the blood vessel, the more white blood cells can get in there to these phagocytes. They can now they can squeeze through the blood vessel into the into the area of infection, 
so we could have more white blood cells to kill the pathogens, okay? Large quantities of phagocytes travel through the inflamed blood vessels to the site of infection to engulf the pathogen, okay? That's in an injury. Let's go see what happens when you have an allergic reaction, okay? And then this is on the right-hand side. Now, an allergic reaction, where's my thing, where's my thing? An allergic reaction is when an allergen, that's something that just causes an allergic reaction. Let's call it pollen or cat hair or dog hair or whatever it is, an allergen that make, that gives us a, 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 a reaction. When, when allergens enter the body, this time through either eating or breathing, this is how allergens enter our body, through our mouth, through our nose. It can't go through our skin unless we cut open our skin and the allergens go in there, but that's very rare. Our B cells, again, recognize the foreign object. The B cells, again, recognize a foreign object and they begin making antibodies, okay? Now, the antibodies, again, signal, the antibodies again, signal the mast cells to release the histamine. Now the histamine, remember, the histamine is what, come on, little Charlie. I guess I, it's not gonna give me my thing, there it is. The histamine, again, signals the blood vessels to expand, they get wider, right? They're gonna eventually get slowly get wider so that more white blood vessels, am I on mute here? Don't even tell me, hold the phone. I'm not, okay, <laughs> sorry for the false alarm guys. You guys are awesome for your patience, okay. So, uh, yeah, the white blood vessels are getting wider, but this time, right, there really isn't anything to kill because the allergens, the allergens really don't do anything other than to cause the histamine to be released by the mast cells. So it's like a it's like almost like a false alarm, right? The phagocytes, again, they travel through the inflamed blood vessels, create phagocytes. And here's a picture of a, here's a, picture of a, of a peanut because a lot of people are allergic to nuts, deathly allergic to nuts. In other words, if there's peanuts in something, they can really get really sick and they can die. It's really tragic, okay? Maybe some of you have the same problem. So the phagocytes travel through the inflamed blood vessels to get to the, the, the to, to attack. But the thing is, there's really, you don't really, the allergens are not really bad for the body. They just create a reaction. Here's why we can't breathe. Imagine in your nose, your blood vessels in your nose get really big. They actually block your air passages. So the inflammation of the blood vessel blocks your air passages in your nose so you can't breathe. Sometimes it's so bad, you can't breathe at all, which is in the case of the, the, the peanut allergy. Sometimes it can be so severe, people die because their blood vessels get so wide, you actually block the airway, okay? And you can't breathe. That, in a nutshell, is allergies 101. So that being said, right? In general, what is more harmful to the human body, the virus or the peanut? In general, you would say the virus. But some people are deathly allergic to peanuts. So it could be more harmful than the flu in a very small case, but in general, the flu virus is much more dangerous, okay? Now, remember, inflammation 
is a helpful response when you get injured because it increases the, the width of the blood vessels. So more white blood cells, blood vessels can get to the point of infection. The more white blood vessels there are at the point of infection, the better able your body is to counteract the infection because white blood cells are phagocytes and phagocytes kill pathogens, okay? You got that? What are allergens? Allergens are just things that cause an allergic reaction. That's it. When an inflammation happens in response to an allergic reaction, is it helpful or harmful? I want you to think about that, okay? I want you to think about that. Provide your own answer. I'm going to force you to think here, okay? I'm going to force you to think. I want you to fill these answers in here on this page, okay? All right, you guys are awesome. I'm going to try to now stop sharing. And